Now have a look at my small account today. Hi, welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Langers and I am the Scruffy Trader. And what I'm trying to do is kind of inspire your trades and put trading in the real world. So if that sounds good, please click the little subscribe button. Genuinely helps and we'll have a look. So what is it that I'm looking at? Well, over the course of the next sort of month, two months maybe, I genuinely am going to put trading in the real world because I'm going to grow a small account and show it what's and all. And it's starting with £200. Now, this came from a conversation I had with the guys last week. So on Wednesday, uh, I funded a small account, put £200 in it, and I've been trading. Now, when you're trading a small account, which is where most people start, and it doesn't matter what your net worth is, I would advise you to start with a small account because it teaches you to focus on the trade rather than the money. But it also is a double-edged sword because with it being such a small amount of money, you don't trade it with a great deal of respect because you might only be winning two or three pounds. Even 50p could be a good win on a very small account. But if you followed your process and you were absolutely cock on all of these little bits of gain add up and that's the compounding effect and from there once you've learned your skill set shall we say by nature your position size will increase which means your gains will increase but you've almost completed your apprenticeship in learning the right to trade a larger account because you do have to sort of earn your right if you jump ten thousand pounds into a trading account where you've got limited to no experience you're pretty much just going to give that away and that's a not exactly a small chunk of change then various emotions will come in and the main one will be anger and depression because you'll be very sad that you've lost your money but then you'll be also incredibly angry that you've lost your money so these are things that normal jobs don't prepare you for because trading is the one job that if you get it wrong it costs you now unless you're a business owner most people won't understand that emotion that side of it because in business if you get it wrong then yes it does cost you you know because you've bought the wrong stock or one of your staff has made a mistake that needs to be rectified it's all cost and off the bottom line and the ultimate gain in any business is the bottom line and you want that in the green not in the red you know because let's be honest the only analogy that i can think of is if you want a cup of tea you need water in the kettle no water in the kettle no cups of tea and that's the way business is you know it relies on money flow and so does trading and your money flow comes from your account the bigger your account the bigger the position size the more money you get at the end of the day but the process should always be the same and a small account will help you achieve that and i know you scratch your head and think how on earth does that work how does a small account help me? Well, we're waiting. Because it teaches you to be patient. And that's the one skill that you definitely need as a trader. Just because you've got a small account doesn't mean to say the process is any different. It's not. It's the same. The difference is the amount of markets that you can trade. And I'll show you that in just a second. Just by limited cost. Because some markets cost more than others so let me 
quickly show you what I'm looking at and then I'm going to put a trade on just to kind of back it up so let's have a look so whatever I'm doing it doesn't matter whether I'm day trading or swing trading uh, I do have various accounts that I use I have my wage account my car account my pension account etc um, I use sheets like this now this sheet is giving me an overview of what's going on and it's very simple this started last week there you are on the 10th with 200 pounds it's now up to 239.70 so that's quite a good growth if you think about it you know nearly 40 quid in a week on 200 pounds tell me a bank that would give you that they wouldn't I've taken minimal positions, 14, but those positions are also part of larger positions because you'll see this here where it says 1TP1 and 1TP2. Basically what that is, it's a single position broken. So I'll have started a single position and then I've scaled from it. So when you see in the 14, it's actually less, okay? but it is still low. I have an 85% hit rate. Uh, FTSE give me a good slap the other day because you can't win them all guys, you can't win them all. This helps me with my compounding. It tells me what my bid is and what my next bid is. And that's based from this compounding plan and my wage maker plan because I want to get up to a certain level. So that's what that section is. This tells me how many trades I need to achieve per day to get my targets. Okay, very simple, and my targets are kind of over here. I'm looking for roughly 1% a day. So at the moment, that is £2.40. <laughs> so it's not a lot. And it's only five pips based on the current bid. It's nice and simple. But what I want to get to is an average of 10 pips. So again, it's given me something to work towards. And the bigger goal, the overall goal, is this. I want to increase my 200 pounds by 10, 2000. Now this might take me a month, it might take me a year. Only the markets can help me with that because I don't know what tomorrow will bring. So I don't know if I'm gonna earn one pip or a thousand pips tomorrow. And that's why I was talking about patience. But if broke it down, if over a 12 month period, I do 769 a day, 38 a week, 166 a month, at the end of the year, I will have 2000 pounds. That 2000 pounds will buy me a very, very nice holiday. And that's the way that I think, okay? I then have my little rules up the side, trade between nine and five. When I get to 90% of my target, I will close off the position and I will let the other 10% run as far as I can get it. Okay, uh, it will be risk free, but I'm just saying how far it will go. That helps with my p &L. I am using the one hour push strategy and the four hour river strategy to so keep in check what I'm doing. So it's all rules based. I use my madness system, which is basically it's scaling. I scale into a trade and I scale out of trades. And it's just called the scruffy madness. <laughs> uh, and that is it. Very, very simple. And what you see there, trail the levels. That's just how I move my stops. I, I move it with levels okay and i'll go through that a little bit later so that is what i'm doing and at the moment i'm quite happy all right but we're only a week in so let's have a look this morning i did the strength as i do for the scruffs all the time and looking at this i've identified that the euro dollar is one of the better trades today so i come back to my strength 
and I look to see what's going on. Well, the euro is losing ground, the US is gaining ground. Okay. But when I look at the strengths up above, they are equal. All right. In other words, it's equal in this. So the, the euro is losing ground against the dollar, and that's echoed with the trade with the uh, trade of change of uh, strength okay so so what we do from here is i now go on to the charts and i'll analyze it simple as that and what we're proposing to do is go long so when you see a strength meter as you've just seen doesn't give you direction gives you movement and that's exactly what we're looking for we're looking for movement within the chart as long as there a reasonable gap between them then there's something to work to so it's a little bit early to put a trade on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it another 15 minutes or so and then we'll look to get in because I want to see what's happening around this level. All right. So let me pause it. Um, I've just heard the builder come. We're having a bit of work done on the house today. Um, so I'll go see what's going on there. And then I'll come back to you after three. And hopefully we'll get a trade on. Now I've already done this for... The, the scruffs uh, I'll just show you uh, there we are now this was shouted out oh, half past 11 this morning is when I said I was looking at this and I've then updated it here at two o'clock okay so I started talking about this quite some hours ago and that's what we do in the, in the scruffs we sit and chat all the time um, as you can see down the side, there's trade ideas, strength, strategies, live streams. It's all done here. Okay. So let me just pause it a while and I'll come back to you when the trade is ready. I'll explain what the trade is and hopefully make some money. Okay, guys. Uh, a little bit later than I thought. It's coming up. 25 past 4 uh, so a little bit later than I thought and it's now showing signs that I'm looking for so what has attracted me to this trade well there's a number of things one it's cheap uh, it's about 200 pound to open up a position and the other is the moves have been pretty good there was a very sustained move yesterday uh, this one here and it didn't look back now if I move this out to the daily and I'll take it from a top down so I can show you you can see there's been a lovely drive up and it's kind of worked its way back found a level here it's pushed away from that level found it again up here which gave a trading arena around this area now it's moved down into about the halfway point and you can see that on this level here now this is across the day so it takes time for this to build up obviously handles a day but what it does give you a good indicator is as to what's going on so solid push push down again but the tails are now showing a little bit of slowing down although that is still solidly down so there could be a little bit of a reprieve up and then back down to this level here if i look at it on a four hour and i've told you this sort of thing before nothing can stay in a sustained direction forever something has to give somewhere and it's that give point that can get you some pips okay so solid move up can't deny that every one of these is four hours topped out 
and then it's sold off aggressively which it has but it's come to an area of attraction and interest which is all of this because look it clustered there before and here and this is in recent history and the market has a memory you know a bit like muscle memory so there's a good reason why this may have stalled here all right and you can see that now and this is on the four hour candle so that's that's a good indicator you know it's now telling you the pushing up why because the body's at the top long green tail short tail to the top the dominant is that way okay take it into the hour and there you are you're seeing it form it's pushed down it's tried to go it hasn't gone any further down and it is now showing signs up I like to work zone to zone. I'll trade into one of these, but I won't trade through one. Okay, so I may need to see if I've got 10 pips between here and here. And I kind of do. So I'm going to drop this onto the five minute. Okay, and my initial goal is to get it up to around this area, but I want to see something first. So I'm just going to drop on a quick indicator. 20 and I want to see the 8 okay. okay so it's breached them both go time now this is a very small account so I haven't got a lot to play with so we're going to put our order above it which is going to be for 10 pips Now I have very little to work with, you know, I only have in the account £239, so this will open, I want it to engage, get up the target and get out, simple as that. And I have to do this pretty much on a daily basis, you know, if I can get one or two of these trades a day, so it's five quid here, it's £10 there. All of these will add up and each time they're adding up they're going to enable me to oh there there we go it's off okay. it's going to enable me to manage what I'm doing so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this play out and then I'll come back to you at the end okay see you in a bit Okay guys, um, stopped out, but it happens, and I'm not really going to cry about it too much, 
Uh, just bear with me a second. So, what's happened? It's gone up. It's hit the roadblock, which was in the way. The black line was actually a 10 pip target, which is, well, it's reasonable. There's, um, there's no reason. I don't like trading through a red zone. Um, it's very difficult, but that was the trading arena for it. So the 10 pips was well in it, but it had to push through that level. It didn't. It just went up, didn't quite tag it, and then ran away. But it's still in the area. And yes, it stopped me out and gave me 45p. But there is method in the madness here. Because this is only a small account. I have nowhere to go with it. Which means I can't allow it any major damage. So as soon as it's a reasonable assumption that it's going to get close to target, which it was up here, I just pull just over break even. Just if I'm wrong and it reverses like this, it doesn't hurt me. Because who's to say I can't just re-enter the market? Of course I can. You know, I, I can watch the next couple of candles play out, put an order in, and re-enter. And that's it. And the only thing it's cost me is time. So, in summary to this, it's not the greatest trade in the world. They can't all be fantastic. Um, but I stuck to my rules. You know, it, it had a good opportunity to move up um didn't quite get there reverse stopped me out so now i have a decision it's now 6 30 at night do i re-enter the market again or do i just look at it again tomorrow well i think the sensible choice because i'd already bagged so much this morning 11.65 is to just call it night. Okay. Um, and that's what we do. You just look at the markets logically. Some days are great, some days are not so great. But the trick is not to let the trade rule you. And what I mean by that is, I did a video the other day about falling in love with trades. And when you do fall in love with a trade, it's normally the wrong trade. And it goes against you. And it goes against you some more and some more. And the damage is quite a lot. Whereas the ones that you should be falling in love with, are the ones you let slip through your fingers. A little bit like relationships, you know, and I try to explain that in a strange way, but that is how the world works. You know, sometimes the best people in your life slip through your fingers, but you can have a second chance. And that is Winky and I, you know, we used to knock about in the same pubs and one thing and another when we were kids you know we knew people collectively but we never met each other which is strange so in some ways slipped through my fingers you know but the second time round because we, we've both been married before we found and now that is going forward fantastically you know, and I can't imagine a day without it. And your trading should be the same way. Don't fall in love with the wrong trade. Get the right one. And when you do get the right one, you will be rewarded. Isn't that logical? So, a little pearl of wisdom for the end of the night. Anyway, got my beer. 
because it is after tea and I'm allowed and I'm over 21. Um, do it all again tomorrow. But at the moment, the small account is ticking along. Um, as long as I just do a little bit every single day, that account will build up. And that's what trading is. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So as always, guys, do what you love. See you all in the next one.